Geologists have described the cracks that are appearing along the earth on the Maimahi Suswa area as a result of fault lines or seismic or volcanic activities. And one day in the next 50 million years, there will be the Nubian Africa and the Somali Africa according to the tectonic plates. However, according to the seismologist, a branch of geophysics, they have a different view. That fracture we have, which I call a fissure, is, has nothing to do with the folding activities. Because as we speak right now, what has happened there is that if you went just 200 meters to the south of that, you will find so many fractures and fissures similar to the one that has occurred around the road. And the reason why that has occurred is that during the construction of the road, when there is the directing of the water and the culverting process, the water collects and comes around that area. And because that builds an overburden on already an area which has underground streams, which leads to the collapse. And that is the reason why that has happened at that point. Seismologists state that earth fissures have been occurring in the Rift Valley for nearly a hundred years and are found from Maimahiu to parts of Nakuru County. Their greatest feature is that they are associated with gradual caving in of land due to the lowering of groundwater levels. As groundwater exits the soil, the tiny open pores within the soil are no longer held open by the buoyancy forces from the water. Over time, these tiny pores collapse and the soils compress. Is Dr. Simiu strongly believes that the occurrence of the Susumai Mahu area has no connection to volcanic activity and neither has any seismic activity occurred in the region in a very long time. What do we mean when we say a seismic activity? Uh, a seismic activity is uh, an event which occurs when we have uh, earth forces breaking the rocks apart. When you have uh, two rocks, then uh, they are broken apart and that during that time of breaking, the force that uh, breaks them apart, that is what creates what we call the seismic uh, event. And that during that breakage, then we have what we call a fault. At the time of the construction of the road linking Nairobi, Nakuru and Narok counties, the fissures were buried deep in the earth and have all come to the fore with the rains that have been pounding the area. While the cracks seem larger than they were when they first showed up in 2012, Dr. Simiu says if you look keenly, you will see many more within the vicinity. A seismic study should be carried out and this is a simple equipment, even you can, you can be able to do that for the, the road designers, whereby they have some equipment where you just use a weight strop. And you can be able to map those underground caverns or, or cracks. So once you have mapped where the areas where there's a high concentration of those cracks, then what you do is that your drainage system should be spread along the length of the road that you don't allow water to concentrate at one point. Because if you allow the water to concentrate at one point, then you will go sloding, and that is what will lead to collapse of those underground channels, and then we will lead to this, uh, this type of phenomenon. He hopes that maybe it's time for government to engage many like him to map out the area before future plans happen. Leila Mohamed, NTV.